True love doesn't always run smoothly. Just ask the Prince and Princess of Wales. William and Catherine's summer holidays with their three children have been abruptly interrupted by shocking revelations about their marriage in a new book. Although they have been married for over 13 years and managed to combine their royal duties with raising their three children, things were once much more complicated. A few years before they got engaged, the couple, who met at university, split up. It was after they had both graduated and William had started his military service, while Catherine was working at a retailer in London. But when speculation of an engagement reached a fever pitch and William wasn't ready to settle down, he rang Catherine to suggest they break up as they both needed some space and to find their own way. In an emotional 30-minute conversation, they both admitted they had different views. It was a crushing blow for Catherine, who was undoubtedly feeling devastated at being dumped over the phone. Although it wasn't the first time William had announced the end of their relationship, it seemed final to her. Now, an explosive new royal book claims William celebrated the breakup on a drunken night on the town with his close friends in London's exclusive Mayfair neighborhood and was heard shouting a brutal two-word response. In the book Catherine, Princess of Wales, a biography, author Robert Jobson writes that William was heard shouting, I am free. The prince shouted, performing a drunken version of the robot dance. He then told his friends that they should all drink the menu which they basically did. Soon the future king returned to military life and settled in an army barracks, while his girlfriend continued her single life. Although she was hurt at first, Catherine followed William's example and spent many nights out on the town with her sister Pippa, wearing some daring outfits. She even caught the eye of the shipping company's heir, Sir Henry Ropner, causing her current husband to question the breakup and want her back. Luckily, the couple found themselves together again at a bloody naughty party thrown by a mutual friend, where the prince appeared in a police helmet and the princess in a nurse's outfit with netted tights. The two spent the first part of the evening in deep conversation before heading to the dance floor, where they ended up kissing. When the friends joked that they should get a room, they left together. People loved the idea that someone brought them back together, but much more so they brought themselves together the chemistry between William and Catherine did the rest. However, after dating, they kept their reconciliation a secret at first. Talking about his role in rekindling the relationship, Sam said in 2011, There's this idea that I was like Cupid with a bow and arrow. Despite their best efforts to keep the relationship secret, the pair were spotted kissing at an army party at the barracks in Bovington, Dorset. In July 2007, Catherine and her brother James were spotted at a concert in Diana's honor at Wembley to mark the 10th anniversary of William's mother's death. In September, the couple went on a romantic holiday together to the Seychelles, and it was during that trip that the princess demanded security if they were to permanently separate. According to Jobson, the author claims they made a secret pact to get married in the near future. By April 2008, William had qualified as a pilot, which meant he would spend the next five years as an RAF search and rescue pilot. Two years later, he was posted to RAF Valley, Anglesey. Catherine, who by then was becoming impatient, made it clear that she was not happy with a long-distance relationship. They found a four-bedroom farmhouse near his base where they could live together while Catherine worked remotely as a web designer for the family's events business. Although the future queen was happy with the closeness with her current husband, she admitted that she felt lonely at times, especially when William worked the night shift. In 2010, during a trip to Kenya in a romantic setting on the shores of Lake Alice, he finally popped the question. 